Okay, does anybody need a chime? Okay. Roxanne, do you need a chime? Good morning. Good morning. So, I'm happy to see you here today. So as you come in, if you see a free chime, please, please take one. Um, I'd like to ask you to help me with the prelude. So if you look at your chimes, you'll notice that you have a blue ribbon or a white ribbon or both. So if you have both, you're going to get a real workout. Good morning. Welcome to worship. Welcome to those of you joining us on Facebook as well. Um, thank you so much for providing some time for vacation. It was good to be away. Kai and I logged uh, 2,800 miles and maybe a couple extra in seven days. Saw lots of things. So thank you for providing for us. Ed, thank you for preaching uh, while I was gone. And, and thanks to David Rhinus too, for, for covering for pastoral care. It's good to have people here to allow me to get away. I'm very grateful for that. One of the things we encountered at one of the hotels we stayed at uh, in Erie, Pennsylvania, was this prayer card, which I just want to share with you. It says this to our guests. In ancient times, there was a prayer for the stranger within our gates. Because this hotel is a human institution to serve people and not solely a money-making organization, we hope that God will grant you peace and rest while you are under our roof. May this room and hotel be your second home. May those you love be near you in thoughts and dreams, even though we may, not yet get, we may not get to know you. We hope that you'll be comfortable and happy as if you were in your own house. May the business that brought you our way prosper. May every call you make and every message you receive add to your joy. When you leave, may your journey be safe. We're all travelers from birth till death. We travel between the eternities. May these days be pleasant for you, profitable for society, helpful to those you meet, and a joy to those who know you and love you best. Isn't that marvelous? 
we should get some of these and put them in the church or something. Maybe tweak it for church a little bit, but boy, that's lovely. All right. I'm glad you're here. Let's rise and do confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who creates, redeems, and sustains us and all of creation. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. To you, O God, all hearts are open. To you, all desires known. We come to you confessing our sins. Forgive us in your mercy and remember us in your love. Show us your ways, teach us your paths, and lead us in justice and truth. For the sake of your goodness in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. By water and the Holy Spirit, God gives you a new birth. And through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God forgives you all your sins. The God of mercy and might strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Our opening hymn is number 705, God of grace and God of glory. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. 